Yeah, yeah, what's up? This is Guys uh, coming back to you guys. And I have another special video for you because I'm just getting a lot of uh, emails recently on a video I did a little while ago and they're basically all saying, hey Gasson, I saw that video with the keyboards and the, the mouse and the monitors. I wanna know how you got that stuff and how do you record? So I've been looking myself for a really cool keyboard, a really cool mouse that I could get myself. And when I came across this, I told the company, hey, you know what, let me actually promote you guys because a lot of the mouse and keyboards that I've found have been a little overpriced. And this one, ironically, is good looking and won't break your wallet. And so I went ahead and got one and now I can show it to you guys so you can see how this thing looks. And these are called the eBlue series. Uh, the mouse in particular is the eBlue Mazer. If you guys notice, it has really nice neon blue lights and it fits really well in my hands. Uh, the keyboard, the keys uh, press down really nicely. It doesn't have that cheap feel like some of the keyboards do on laptops and stuff. And uh, I was really liking the neon lights that they put on the sides and on the, even the bottoms of the keyboard. So it's gonna look really epic on uh, your desktop if you get one. Now I really didn't care much for having the blue keys in there so I took them out and put in the black ones. I just like all black uh, on my keyboard. And so that is pretty much my keyboard and mouse. Now let's move on to how I record. If you guys check it out, this is my HDMI cable to lightning cable adapter. And so this will run you about $30 on Amazon if you're looking get, to get one. It's an adapter for your iPad. Um, however, I don't really recommend going iOS. I would rather you go Android because Androids have higher quality. But if you're going to do it like this, then you're going to need that adapter. And I run it into uh, the Mojo for right now because it has the uh, Android emulator on there. But... I'm gonna plug it into the iPad here and I can show you guys how you can record this. Uh, this is the HDMI wire, which actually has video and sound coming out of it. Uh, 1080p, I believe, uh, video it produces with uh, high quality sound. And that's connected to my PC down here, to my capture card. And I'm using the uh, AverMedia capture device to record uh, Clash of Clans. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you guys. This is what Aver Media looks like. Once you get it started up, you could go ahead and run it. And then I have it set so that it uh, runs the HDMI to my lightning cable for the iPad. Now again, I don't recommend going iOS, especially with the iPad because iPads, um, they have 16 by uh, four by three actually. And so it's gonna be like a squeezed in picture that you're gonna see, not like the iPhone, it has 16 by nine. Uh, okay, but I went ahead. This is the Aver Media, and I'm starting it up. And now you can see that uh, if I try and record it just with Aver Media, it won't work because there is a copyright protection on it. And so I need a screen recorder to continue it. And so I use Action, which is a pretty nice screen recorder program, and it runs 60 frames per second. And it's just really dope, uh, really adequate file sizes. So, you guys, that's pretty much how I record. But if this sounds all too high tech for you, just use your iPhone to record. If you want to jailbreak it or use Air Server, you could do it that way, which is really cheap. If you guys are interested in the Blue Mazer, go ahead and check the description. I should have it so that you can get it on Amazon. And that's pretty much how I record, you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Godson out.